Brad Blanks. I'm sitting here with Ben Simmons. How are you, mate? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, mate. Look, uh, seven years ago was the uh, draft, and that's, uh, you know, we, we caught up then that night. That was a heck of a party. No, I'm glad you came. Uh, I heard everyone had a good time. Yeah, it was one of those parties where uh, the, you, know, you threw it, and then uh, this was the pre-party the night before at the Australia Bar, uh, and then you left. You said, I'm out of here, and about four hours later, we like... Uh, Where's the star of the show here tonight? You, you're out in the town. I was, I was getting ready. I was prepping up, prepping up for the, uh, uh, the draft. So, yeah. Do we call you a veteran at this stage or not? Like, it's a funny word, veteran. It can be used in many ways. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like it. You know, some, I got some teammates uh, that are not able to even drink right now. So they can barely drink in Australia. But um, so I'm, I'm starting to feel old. Sort of say, you give them advice and mentoring or? I, I do the best I can. Um, definitely a lot of mentoring. So it's, uh, it's a different situation that I've been in. Um, but it's, it's nice. I, I enjoy it. Veteran, you could call yourself a veteran, but you could also call yourself a leader. And do you feel that that's a word you have to earn or you can do that straight out of the box next week when the season yeah. commences? I think uh, being a leader is one of those things where you can lead in many different ways. I think for me, uh, I try to lead by example. Um, and I've had the opportunity now to, to go into this team and do that. So I've been blessed with that opportunity and I think um, I've, I've been a great leader so far. And uh, preseason has been good for you. Um, there's been buzz and of course I know you hear the buzz um, does that translate into the feeling you've got on court from doing these cuts and passes I think it's um it just shows all the work I've put in um, over the last you know year of just getting back healthy and then uh, just getting back in the court and getting my touch and uh, I've only it's only been like four games you know playing at this level um, and being you know this healthy uh, so it's been a while since I've been able to play you know at this level is there excitement Definitely. I think um, it's going to be a fun year. I think uh, I'm excited just to get out there, get back to competing at the highest level you know, possible um, and, you know, shutting a lot of people up. You never got the opportunity to defend yourself. Um, and now we're two years on. Yeah, for, for various reasons, you couldn't defend yourself uh, contractually, but whatever. Uh, two years on to now, do you feel that the defense of Ben Simmons' name will be done on the court? Yeah, I think for me, I know who, you know, my true fans are, you know, the people that stick by me. But, um, you know, that's why I owe it to a lot of people just to get back on the floor and, and do my thing and, uh, you know, put on a show. Do you feel like you are a showman? Like people are still paying for that ticket? And Yeah, I think that's just how I am on the court. You know, my style of game is just a, a fun type of basketball to watch. You know, I come down, I throw different passes, I, I make different moves, um, exciting type of play. You know, I think that's just part of my game and just, you know, how I, you know, kind of, play the game so I think that's what you know people love about it. Will, will there be moments where you might run into some of these knockers from years ago like how do you how would you if you ran into Stephen A. Smith would you go all right Stephen how you doing? Um, I, I don't have any bad blow with people people got to do their jobs um, would I is that my guy is that my friend no but you know I got respect for everybody I don't, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody like that um, you know my, I let my game do the talking they got to keep doing their jobs so yeah. No, good. Well, um, oh, I love it. Good, good answer. Like, it's a hard-hitting question. Political answer. Yeah, there, but. Uh, well up, mate. No, it was, it, it was, but but you, you had to rebuild yourself mentally first mm -hmm. and then physically. Uh, over the summer, just recently, how do you know that, A, you've ticked the box mentally and sort of ticked the box physically? How do you know? I think um, the, the physical and the mental thing, they're, they're both joined, obviously. I think um, the, the priority was, you know, getting my body right and getting to a place where I'm able to compete at this level, take hits, um, and not have to, you know, second-guess myself on the court. Um, and then mentally, I've always, you know, been big on just taking care of myself and, and just continuing to work on myself. And I think that all just plays a part in one. So, um, you know, and I've, I've noticed it coming out into the court, that just that feeling, that presence, um, and just feeling strong. There's fun on the court oh, again? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have a great time out there. It's, it's, just, it's just a blessing to be able to, you know, do what you do. You know, I, I had that, you know, taken from me when I wasn't healthy and able to, you know, compete at this level. So, for me, it's, you know, every day I get up, I'm able to get in the court and get up and down and run and, and jump. Like, that's a blessing for me, so it's, a, it's an exciting thing. Well, what, uh, your coach talked about smiling. He he said he saw you training down in Miami and you smiled and it and it like uh, you know he, he got excited over that. What, what what's this new thing of a smile? Um, I think you know he there was just so many different things going on last year to where I was like I could barely sit down and and be comfortable, you know. So he never got to really see you know who I was as a person or a player. So I think that was just uh, refreshing and reassuring to him for him to know, you know, I can actually smile and, you know, enjoy the game. Um, so and that, was, that was a good thing to hear too. 
obviously have an Aussie rules background. You, you, you grew up in the suburbs of Melbourne uh, and you, you were playing Aussie rules till about 14 years of age, right? And, and you said you, you, you better steer away from that and go to NBA. Is that what happened? Yeah, I think um, deep down, you know, I knew what, what I wanted to do. Um, Mum wasn't too happy. Uncle Mick... Uh, and Gary, they weren't too happy, but uh, I think it turned out for the best. <laughs> your mum wanted you to, well, your mum wanted you home. To, yeah. I think she was like conflicted. She also didn't. I don't know if she believed I could play in the NBA. That was another <laughs> part of it, you know. So I don't know if she actually believed that side of it, yeah. but um, it worked out. Dave, though, your dad's like, nah, nah, my boy's going to the NBA. You know? Yeah, I think I, I'm not sure if he even knew. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I think I just I just knew what I wanted to do, and mm -hmm. I, I said it to him. I got to like 15, 14. I was like, yeah, you guys got to let me go. Otherwise, you know, you're holding me back. Um, yeah. And they let me go and, and everything, you know, worked out. Well, it's, it's one of those things that not a lot of people talk about your life. If you really think about it, you were a 16-year-old boy where you had to pack up and ship off. Yeah. And you're, you're from the suburbs. You're the sixth child of six kids. Uh, your dad's an NBL legend, Dave, and your mum is, is from Melbourne. And, yeah, it, it sort of lost that, that part of the story, where you've actually come from. It's... Yeah. It's quite humbling how, you know, you, you know, from the backyard of Blackburn to, you know, overlooking New York City, right? Yeah, people, people don't know that. And I think um, it gets lost because, I mean, I've been here for so long now. Um, but, you know, my roots are Australian. So that's, that's where I'm from. That's where, I, that's where I grew up. So that's all that's, that's home for me. I haven't been back in a while, but... You know, this is when I come when I'm in America, I try to explain to people, I'm like, this is not even my home. Like, I don't, this is temporary right now. Like, I'm, I probably will go back home. So, yeah, yeah. and uh, I'm mean, overlooking Brooklyn Bridge. This is like an incredible skyline, mate. You've done good, good choice. <laughs> it's not bad, not bad. Yeah, um, now, talking about Australia, of course, I know it's baby steps and we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but uh, young Aussies, it's a dream to swim for Australia at the Olympics or yeah. be an archer or, you know, play any sort of sport within the Olympics. Your sport's basketball. Um, how do you hold the, uh, the, the magic of representing Australia at the Olympics next yeah. year in Paris? I've, I've said it um, prior, like, this is this Paris Olympics, I'm 100% committed. Um, knock on wood, everything goes well with the health. Um, but I'm in, I'm locked in. So I, I, this will be the first one for me. Um, you know, hopefully we get everybody in, Patty, Joe, um, Giddy, you know, all those guys, Dante. It, it's going to be an exciting team, so I'm, I'm committed. When you reel off that list, does that even get you oh, quite pumped? For like, sure. Like, for me, I've always wanted to represent Australia. I've done it um, a few times. That's what I don't think true Ben Simmons fans know that. Yeah. I've already represented Australia. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's something I've always wanted to do, and I think it's going to be an amazing experience. Um, I mean, it's in Paris, so... You'll be up against your old mate, uh, LeBron James. Uh, how have you thought when he, he kind of like brought the Avengers together, didn't he? This yeah, dream yeah. team, he wants to get, create a dream team again. <laughs> I'm an Aussie, I'm like, yeah, fuck it, like, let's, let's go play, it is what it is. Um, so I'm a, I'm a competitor too, you know, like, this is what we, is what we do. So yeah. we're ready to go out and play. Yeah, you've got your own dream team, yeah, Aussie dream My dream team too, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, take me back to that moment, 2018, all-star game, you're a young guy, you've been in the league, you know, 15 months, uh, or 18 months maybe, and you are in the locker room suiting up and you look around that locker room on Team LeBron. Is there a feeling you can remember? Honestly, the first one was like, holy shit. Like, because <laughs> this is, people don't really know. Like, I'm from Australia, I was born and raised. I came here for a dream. That was playing the NBA. Um, so to have moments like that is surreal and, and super cool. Um, and I'm super grateful for it. So... As a competitor, I'm like, you know, I get to play against all these guys I used to watch on, you know, YouTube and, and see all these guys' highlights, legends. Um, so it's just, it's, it's an awesome thing. You had Harden, Kawhi, yeah. you, um, yeah, yeah, even a Dwayne Wade on your team. Dwayne Wade, even, even playing with Dwayne, that, like yeah. growing up, that was my, one of my favorite players. So to be on his team yeah. um, in one of his last All-Star games was insane. And your stat line was pretty good that night. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was a great, great stuff. And you're playing against Steph and whatever. It was yeah. um, remarkable. Yeah, what, what would you say to the 14-year-old version of you? Um, you know, now, or, now, or what would that 14-year-old version think of, of, of that moment? The same, the same thing I think now. It's insane. No, it's like a, it's an, a surreal experience and opportunity like, to play against guys at that level. Um, but, like, you know, I'm built for it, you know? Everything feels, like, 
good the body yeah, i feel great this is the yeah. best i've felt in two years so i've done a lot of work put a lot of work in this summer and so you're like daily massages ready ready to go daily massages yeah pilates <laughs> all, all, all that stuff so, so pilates works big guys can do that no pilates is amazing i have my machine back there so i'm on there like every day would you recommend pilates to a big guy yeah, like most no, yeah sure you got different levels you can start off start off you know light light resistance you know it's easy i could lose weight yeah, you got to be dedicated, though. That could be my problem. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I've known you've been a fisherman for a while, but this is a new, real, you've gone deep. Uh, and in some ways, it's corresponding with the last two years. Is there some sort of meditative approach to when you go out there with a fishing rod, just you against yeah. the sea? I think for me, um, I've always been passionate about it, but I never really took that step and dove into it. So last two years, I probably was like, you know what, I'm going to commit to, you know, finding out more, learning more, fishing more, um, just having different experiences. And I've, you know, I've, I've loved it. Um, started diving, spear wow. fishing, um, getting on boats, doing weekend trips. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's something I love to do. And uh, you, you've, you've, what's the latest fish you've caught? Uh, last one I caught was right after we played Miami Heat at like 6 a.m. go to Blackfin Tuna. And we, we brought it back in uh, Mason uh, Sashimi, so. Well, so you, you, you play a game of basketball uh, one night, Next morning, you're up, crack of dawn. Oh, yeah. I, was, I was ready because I don't have many opportunities to go out and fish. And, and people know, oh, if you, if you fish, you know that. So for me, I was like, all right, let's get in the boat. Let's get out. Good stuff. Uh, Brooklyn, the Bronx, or Turks and Caicos, who would have the best fish in their rivers? <laughs> Turks and Caicos, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Throw a line in your, into your father's old... I've, I've thought about uh, trying to catch a shark out here, maybe. Right. I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, you, you and the guys out there with those lines. Yeah, just get out there. Don't lie and we'll see what happens. Mate, uh, you're a champion. It's great to see you again. Uh, I'm excited for what happens this year, Ben Simmons. You feel good? I feel great. Feel good? Yes, uh, sir. Good. You've inspired me. Thank you. Awesome. Champion. Pilates. Yeah, yeah. Pilates. <laughs> Pilates. Pilates, come on. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Champion.